hello friends welcome back to cat cam station today in this video tutorial i'm going to show you that how you can create this design as you can see on your screen this is an elbow joint made up of cast iron so this tutorial is going to be very exciting and interesting and very informating for the beginners because in this video tutorial i'm going to teach you the commands which is required to create this feature so the commands are sweep along guide and sweep cut along guide then pattern feature then pattern sketch and one more new command which is very important that is rib command so make sure you watch this video till the end and if you like my video tutorial then make sure you subscribe like share and don't forget to hit the bell icon and also please leave the comment below into the comment section it will help me to get in touch with you guys and it motivates me to put more videos for you so without wasting any time let's get started so the first thing from uh, as you can see on your screen that we have three views the top view the front view and the section view so as we know that uh, from the section view we have the inner tube structure so we know the diameters of inner hollow section and the outer so for doing this let me just start from the sketch select the top plane you can select any plane of your choice and hit o on your keyboard to activate the circle command drag it out and enter the diameter 97 so exit hit q on your keyboard to exit the sketch like this so now is the time to create the path along which this circle is going to move so in order to do that select the sketch and the vertical plane perpendicular to the circle draw the line in order to do that hit l on your keyboard start from the center so from here go downwards no matter how long you will drag this line because we're gonna give the dimension to this line after that so we have this perpendicular line like this now we can see that from the section view that the height from the top of this circle to the center of this line is 150 so hit d on your keyboard and give it a dimension equals to 150 this is the center and close or you can give the length to this which is equals to 145 and exit so as we can see from the section view that there is the curve uh, sketch we need to make the path curve from this position there are two ways that you can apply fillet or you can apply a circle and then trim out these lines which you don't need so as you can see here we have the fillet command so go there select the fillet and the line like this and as you can see that the radius is 90 so hit 90 and enter like this now you can exit the sketch by hitting q on your keyboard Now is the time to use the command sweep along guide. So go to surface, more, sweep along guide. Select the circle and the guide. Now you will see the guide and the feature is created right there. Now what we're going to do here, I'm going to create the sweep cut feature along the guide so to do that let me just hide this first 
so select this select the top surface and ok hit O on your keyboard to activate the circular command drag it out and from the section view we can see that it the inner uh, hollow diameter is 65 so there is no more need to create the path because we already have that so to, in order to make it visible go to view and select see through like this hit Q on your keyboard to exit the command or sketch window go to home go to surface more sweep along guide select the circle and then select the guide like this under the boolean operation select subtract and click ok now as you can see that the hollow tube is created now is the time to create the circular flange joint on this surface from the top view we can see that the diameter of the uh, flange is 225 so in order to create it select sketch select the top surface and click OK hit O on your keyboard start from the origin drag it out and enter the diameter to 25 like this and uh, you can also draw another circle with the diameter of 65 because we want it hollow okay so either you can do this or you can just simply select project curve command to do this select the edge and click ok just like that so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna extrude this sketch by hitting X on my keyboard and enter the value which we can see that from the front view it is 25 so enter 25 so it is going upward we need to change its direction so click on reverse direction like this under the boolean operations from subtract to unite and click ok just like that now the same procedure we're gonna follow on this surface so select sketch select the face and click ok hit O on your keyboard to activate the circular command start from the center drag it out and enter the diameter to 25 go to project curve select the inner edge and click OK so hit X on your keyboard to extrude it as we can see that from the top view it is 20 millimeter of thickness so enter 20 hit enter now is the time to change its direction so under the direction change its direction boolean operation should be unite and then you can click ok so far so good now we're gonna change its view like this hit ctrl plus w to hide your sketches just like that so now what we're gonna do is we are going to use the circular pattern sketch so first I will show you how to uh, use a circular pattern sketch and then how to circular pattern feature so start from this side go to home select sketch and select the top surface click ok now as we can see that from the top view it is 225 uh, it is 185 the PCD so hit O on your keyboard start from its origin drag it out and enter the diameter 185 so we don't want this sketch to be affected by the command which is the extrude cut so we're gonna change it into reference line so in order to do this select it let me just do it like this it is not working i'm really sorry about that 
let me just click on it here it works right there so click to convert to reference so again i need to create a circle like from here drag it out and the diameter is 15 so as we can see that it is move able we can move it but we don't want to move it so what i need is to hit c on your keyboard make sure your horizontal alignment select the center of this circle and the center of this origin so it will align itself like this so in order to make it circular pattern around this circle to do that you can go here under the direct sketch group drag it like this and here is the pattern curve so pattern curve selected so the curve that you want to pattern make sure you select this sketch circular and the rotation point is going to be the center of this so your in your case this might not be the uh, values so enter the value 5 and the pitch angle make sure the spacing should be count and pitch then how you can divide this circle equally distance with each other equidistance with each other so in order to find this pitch angle all you have to do is to divide the count with 360 degree angle so the circles angle full circle angle is 360 so 360 divided by 5 which in turns gives you the angle 72 so enter 72 which is going to be the pitch angle and places the circles equidistance from each other then you can click ok like this so again you can click x on your keyboard like this you can change its direction under the end condition make sure you select until next under the boolean operation select subtract and click ok just like that Control w hide the sketches now as you can see the how we just use this circular pattern sketch so now is the time to show you how to do the pattern feature so to do that just select this face and draw the circle like this again we are going to use the circular command by hitting o on your keyboard and enter the diameter 185 select convert it to reference hit o on your keyboard to start creating sketch enter 15 millimeter diameter hit c on your keyboard make sure your horizontal alignment center of the circle and center of its and click close so hit x on your keyboard change its orientation a little bit to show you its actual working change its orientation under end value until next your boolean operation should be subtract and click ok Control w then hide the sketch so circular pattern feature how can i use it so in order to do that there is the pattern feature make sure you click on it select the feature you want to pattern specify the vector make sure you select the circle like this so it should be 5 enter and the angle should be 72 360 divided by 5 72 click ok then ok so this is how you're gonna create the circular pattern feature and circular pattern sketch this is how we're going to use so now is the time to use the rip feature command so this is the final step almost select the plane just draw the line all you have to there are numbers of ways that you can create a rip feature you can uh, simply drag it 
like this you can create a rectangular sketch then you can apply um, extrude command and extrude it symmetrically on both the sides to create the rib feature but you can create the rib feature by only one line by creating only single line let me just delete this for you guys and as you can see it is movable so in order to make it fix hit d on your keyboard to activate the dimension command enter as you can see the rib length is 40 and uh, its downward is 30. now we know that the distance from this point to the this edge is uh, 25 so enter the distance 25 like this but it is still moving so in order to fix it we know that the, from the center to the outer surface it is uh, 97 so hit D or you can simply click on here 97 divided by 2 so this is it you can exit now one more time I'm gonna create the single line sketch on this side to do that again I'm gonna select the plane and drawing the line like this so what I'm gonna do is hit D on your keyboard select the line enter 25 and in this direction enter 25 so 25 25 in the same way you can fix its position like or you can just simply hit C on your keyboard select the vertical alignment or uh, let me just huh let me just select the point and then the this point just like that and uh, now is the time to fix its position in order to do that hit D select the center point and this 97 divided by 2 just like that and hit Q on your keyboard to exit the sketch so now how are we gonna create the rib in order to create the rib all you have to do go under feature group go to more then design feature and rib click on it so target body is the main component or the green color you can see this is the target body if it is not selected you can select the solid body and under the section you can select the single line like this or if it is not selected parallel to section plane you can change its uh, you can toggle between these options like this make sure your combine ray with target body symmetric enter the thickness as you can see that the thickness of the rib is uh, 10 millimeter so enter 10 millimeter and apply like this and now it is combined with the main component now you can select another and okay so now we have a rib feature but we need three of them so in order to do that you can use the uh, pattern feature command as well so go to pattern feature so select the feature like this select this one and uh, the vector position so it is going to be the this one so we need three so enter the value three so 360 divided by 3 is 120 so enter 120 click ok so let me just see if we can create this and then click apply so here you can see the rib feature is pattern along the circular again you can click on the rib feature to select it or you can simply drag the mouse cursor and to select the feature specify the vector like this make sure 3 and angle 120 360 divided by 3 120 and click ok so now we have rib feature on the body this is how it it is going to look now hit ctrl w and hide the sketches f8 to make it normal to your view 
so where it is now in order to see the section view of this component all you have to do is to hit ctrl plus h on your keyboard and now you can change the section view position click ok so here is the sketch or the component which we have created by using the commands so this is it guys for today i hope you enjoyed this video tutorial you learned um, one new command which is rib command and how to revolve the sketch pattern and how to revolve the sketch feature uh, feature set so this is how you can create the elbow made up of cast iron so i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video then make sure you subscribe like share with your friends and leave the comment below in the comment section it will keep me motivated to put more videos for you in the future so you're watching cad cam station signing out for now